Good evening. Welcome to the 65th commencement of Conestoga Valley High School. I am the interim principal, Dr. Colleen Hovannik. This evening, it is my distinct honor to offer a warm welcome to our parents, families, friends, school board members, administration, educators, support staff, and most importantly, our graduating seniors of Conestoga Valley High School who are assembled here at Calvary Church. Our hosts at Calvary Church have once again provided us with an amazing venue to celebrate our seniors' graduation from high school. Wow. Their generosity and support have been tremendous, and we cannot thank them enough for their hospitality. Please join me in a round of applause for our host, Calvary Church. We gather today to honor the class of 2023 and celebrate their successful completion of their high school program at Conestoga Valley High School. Our tradition is to honor these graduates with dignity and respect and to present a ceremony fitting for this great milestone. To help us in this endeavor, we ask for the following. It's hard to compete with that, I'm gonna say. Please silence all cell phones and other devices. Refrain from using them during the ceremony, other than your cameras, of course. Please minimize leaving the sanctuary during the ceremony. We ask for special consideration as graduates' names are called and they walk across the stage. We want to maintain proper pacing of our event. We want all graduates' names heard with clarity, and we don't want to promote contests for recognition. We know you are proud of these graduates, and we are too. And at the end of the ceremony, the graduates have practiced the moment where we can all celebrate with them at that very special moment. Noise making, calling out names, and other disruptive behavior are not acceptable during our commencement exercise. We want the ceremony to be remembered for our graduates and nothing else. Our school photographer, Life Touch, is on hand today to take pictures of graduates as they receive their diploma. Information can be found on page 15 of your program. After the ceremony, graduates will be moving to the fellowship hall to pick up their final diplomas. Please allow them to get there without delay. Also, we ask that no family members go into the fellowship hall so that we can get each student their diploma. They will be with you to celebrate afterwards without much delay. Our graduates will be entering down the steps at the far ends of the sanctuary and proceeding to their seats. We respectfully request your cooperation in giving this ceremony the respect it deserves and providing the opportunity for all of our graduates to be appropriately recognized. Please enjoy this ceremony. Thank you. 
Would everyone please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner? Gentlemen, would you please remove your caps? Please join me in the singing of the Conestoga Valley's alma mater. The words can be found on the back of your commencement program. everyone please be seated. Conestoga Valley commencement speakers earned the privilege of speaking at commencement through submission of audition video and selection by a committee of teachers and administrators. In addition to their academic achievements, their list of accomplishments is extensive, including athletic, athletic involve, involvement in numerous clubs, and serving our school and community. It is my honor to introduce our three student speakers this evening. First, Elise Emery will share her speech titled, Counting Down. Second, Sarah Galetta will give her speech titled, In a Flash. And our final student speaker this evening will be the 2023 class president, Raylan Dominich. Elise, can you come forward? Good evening, everyone. Before I deliver my prepared thoughts tonight, I want to share some background information about how this speech came to be. 26 years ago to the day, my mom stood at the stage on her, at her high school graduation and addressed her graduating class. Having read her speech, I was inspired by her thoughts and words and found it incredible how they still apply to me and my class a generation later. I hope my version of her speech impacts you all as much as it impacted me. Tonight, seniors, commemorates our 16,380th hour, 340th day, 117th month, and 13th year as students. I'm willing to bet my diploma that no one in this room tonight has figured these calculations. But for the sole purpose of proving a point, 
I applied my mathematical skills, which I knew I could use in a real life situation one day. After being completely astounded by my approximations, I searched beyond their literal meaning and realized that my 16,380 hours of education have sped past, leaving me only with a blur of memorable moments. I understand that not everyone shares the view that time travels quickly. Some may have even counted down the seconds it took us to reach this point. But now that we have arrived, you must admit, it was well worth the wait. The accumulation of years, months, days, and hours spent in school represent one concept, time. Some of us had plenty of it, some not enough, some wasted it, or some wanted to make it stop in order to savor a special moment. What most of us never realize is how precious time truly is. Parents, teachers, and even the graduates of the few short years before us often take the opportunity to remind us that time only travels faster as we age. Philip James Bailey, a 19th century poet, tells us that years are no way of reckoning time. An excerpt from Bailey's poetry beautifully expresses his point. We live in deeds, not in years, in thoughts, not breaths, in feelings, not in figures on a dial. We should count time by heartthrobs. He most lives who thinks most, feels the noblest, acts the best. Our time as students, especially as students of Conestoga Valley High School, should not be counted merely by minutes leading up to graduation, but instead as lessons learned, friends made, Victories won and tears cried. The days and hours leading up to this graduation ceremony may not be remembered, but the memories we hold from that time couldn't possibly be forgotten. Class of 2023, going forward, I encourage you to think about the concept of time in a new way. Realize that it follows you wherever you are, but do not, by any means, count down the years of your future as we have counted down the years of the past. As Bailey suggests, count your heart throbs. Count how many thoughts you have in a day's time. Count how many people you've made smile, for these are the things that make each individual day move at a slower pace. I must tell you, my fellow classmates, I've enjoyed the many years, months, days and hours spent with you. I appreciate that we're united as a class because of the time we've been linked together. But more so, I appreciate having watched time change each and every one of us, from young kids in elementary school into the young adults and soon to be alumni of Conestoga Valley High School sitting before me. The final seconds of our 13 year countdown are passing by right now as I speak. I wish all the members of our graduating class the very best. After leaving this room and the voices of each speaker fade to silence, we will then begin our first hour of our first day of many times to come. Hi, everyone. A speech like this is a hard one to put together, much like a moment like this is a hard one to prepare for. How do you say goodbye to 12 plus years of school and hello to the rest of your life? Some of us may have prepared for this through a throwback playlist or a throwback TikTok or binge watching some throwback movies. Some of us are just ready to leave and didn't think to prepare at all. Regardless of if or how you train to handle the perpetual fluttering feeling heart racing and dry mouth, you've successfully brought yourself here to the closing of a crucial chapter in life, your childhood. 
To prepare for this, I personally employed all previously listed tactics along with running through some core memories from high school. One of which was at Wawa, where a friend and I got snacks in our second week of freshman year right after school. The cashier asked us what grade we were in as we were paying for our snacks, and we excitedly replied that we were freshmen at Conestoga Va Valley. He smiled and said, enjoy it. High school goes by in a flash. I didn't tell you the story to just regurgitate a very cliche line, but rather to illustrate how smart I thought I was and how ignorant I am and we all are to that very inevitable truth. It goes by in a flash. In a flash, we ran out of consecutive seven hour school days and after school extracurriculars. In a flash, we ran out of late nights and early mornings. In a flash, we ran out of homecomings and football games. In a flash, we ran out of slow class days where all we do is talk and make TikToks. In a flash, we ran out of our childhood. We always think we're ready for the future. It's the naive assumption that guides us through every era of our lives. Once we surpass the sinking feeling of leaving behind the comfort of the security of the past 12 years, we'll naively think we're ready for the future. Until we go on to our universities, colleges, trade schools, or the workforce, and continue to count every passing minute. We're always waiting for time to speed up, but we never stop to acknowledge the present. You don't know you're in the good times until it's over. I mentioned earlier how the speech was a hard one to write, but honestly, I almost didn't write it at all. It was only at the last minute that I decided to take, and take a chance and do it. I juggled the ultimate question, do I want to do the speech, and risk getting selected, end up speaking in front of hundreds of people and risk choking? Do I want to close this door on myself and not give myself any more stress in the last month of school? Or do I want to surprise my family by speaking tonight and give a speech that I can look back at and be proud of? Obviously, I elected to take the risk. It was a fleeting decision I made in fifth block AP psych while watching A Beautiful Mind, but it split decision moments like this that define our character. Are we willing to take the risk, or will we preserve our comfort and close the door on ourselves? It's a question my parents faced when they decided to give up their aspirations and move to America so their children could be brought to this moment and have these educational opportunities available to them. It's a question our athletes face before trying out for the sport they committed to throughout high school. And with that, if we could have a moment of recognition to Tyler Zook and Tyree Smith. It's a question our actors face before trying out for the fall play and becoming a part of the drama department family. It's a question our class and club officers face when writing their own speeches when running for their positions. It's a question many of us, many of us have faced during our application season when applying to our Reed School. It's a question we all have faced and will never stop facing, regardless of our future career plans. In this accomplishment of graduating high school, we have set ourselves up to make that dreadful, inevitable, glorious, liberating decision. Will I take the risk or close the door? In a moment of recognition to the staff, parents, and the rest of the CV community. The public education system has gotten jumped all year and CV has felt this impact from a national and district level. Many of our teachers and staff have reached a point of exhaustion months ago but they didn't have the privilege of claiming senioritis and clocking out. Instead, they continue to put both feet on the floor and guide our class to this day of finality and celebration. Tomorrow marks a new beginning of our lives and the moment we turn our tassels to the left, we're preparing ourselves for every opportunity that life presents us with. Let's open the door to our future. Let's challenge ourselves and challenge each other to choose the right answer to the big question and be open to taking risks. And I want to end this with a quote from my favorite rapper. Life is a prize, but to live doesn't mean you're alive. That was Nicki Minaj. Godspeed to the class of 2023. Congratulations, everyone.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow senior graduates. My name is Raylan Dominich, and I am your president for the class of 2023. It has been an honor to serve all of you for the past year, and I truly thank you all for allowing me to stand before you today to deliver this graduation speech, representing our shared journey, growth, and achievements over the past four years. Together, we have navigated the challenges, triumphs, and the countless memories that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. First and foremost, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to our teachers, mentors, and all those who have supported us through our educational journey. From our first day of kindergarten to our final day of high school, you have all played a significant role in providing endless skills and lessons that will stay with us throughout our lives. Your unwavering dedication, patience, and guidance has been essential in our development, both academically and personally. I also wish to thank the support staff, secretaries, classroom aides, custodians, and so many other hardworking individuals that don't receive enough credit for their hard work and dedication to our district. I would like to thank all coaches, club, and extracurricular advisors who have enabled students to put their own passion into building an impact on our school's environment. Huge thank you to Mrs. Elizabeth Carney for conducting the music this evening and a special shout out to Mr. Sean Carley and Mrs. Catherine Schickman for assisting our, our speakers today. Thank you to Mr. Matt Brubaker for coordinating this lovely event and above all, thank you to all the families and loved ones of each student that made our voyage possible and supported us throughout every step of it. It is safe to say our class is notable for our sense of togetherness and teamwork. Our energy throughout pep rallies, football games, and our, our newly found tradition family feud created an atmosphere like no other class. We have a shared, welcoming energy every day until the end. And I think we can all agree that we learned this from the lovely Mrs. Miller, who owns the Humans of CVHS Instagram that truly captures the essence of what being a buckskin means. Along with our sentimental legacy, the class of 2023 is proud to carry on a CV tradition of a class legacy. The class legacy is a gift that the senior class leaves to improve the edu educational environment for the future generations of CV students. Our class will be donating our remaining funds to the scholarships run by the families of two students we lost this year. Tyler Zook and Tyree Smith were known for their giving personalities and bright smiles. They were two kind souls taken from us too soon, so we hope to keep their memory alive by the gift of giving because they would have done the same. To my fellow classmates, today is a testament of our hard work, resilience, and determination. We have grown not only intellectually, but also as individuals learning valuable lessons that extend beyond the classroom walls. Each one of us has contributed our unique talents to the strengths to creating a th thriving and diverse community. In closing, I leave you with these words by my favorite artist, Jermaine Cole. To appreciate the sun, you have to know what rain is. <laughs> there is no comparison between the sun and the moon. They both shine when it's their time. Class of 2023, our time to shine is right now. Let's go be great. Thank you. This seems to be a trend. When I stand up here, it rains so loud. I can, I can barely hear myself speak, so I'm sure you can't hear me either. So, so the next portion of our program will include comments from our superintendent, Dr. Dave Zulkowski, and our school board president, Mrs. Idette Groff. At this time, I would like to call on our superintendent of the Conestoga Valley School District, Dr. Zulkowski, to come forward for his, for his remarks to the class of 2023. That's why we have graduation inside.
Bienvenidos, amigos y familiares de clase de 2023. Si vi como el mundo es un hermoso lugar de verso, una de mis películas favoritas es la de Avatar original. Hay una línea en la película que me tocó muy profundamente y es una que se puede aplicar a nuestros graduandos a media que avanzan en sus vidas. Los dos personas principales de la película están hablando cuando Nadhiri le dice a Jake, te veo. Ella no lo, no lo ve cara a cara, sino corazón a corazón. Yo te veo. Te veo. Veo tu cultura. Veo tu herencia. Veo tu identidad. Veo tu idioma. Veo a tu familia. Veo tus creencias. Veo tu fe. Yo te veo. Con su permiso voy a hablar en inglés ahora por que otros puedan entender de lo que estamos hablando. Welcome friends and families of the class of 2023. CV Like the World is a beautiful, diverse place. One of my favorite movies is the original Avatar. There's a line in the movie that touched me to the core, one that applies to our graduates as they move on with their lives. The two lead characters in the movie are talking when Interior says to Jake, I see you. She does not see him eye to eye, but rather heart to heart. I see you. I see you. I see your culture. I see your heritage. I see your identity. I see your language. I see your family. I see your beliefs. I see your faith. I see you. Too often in society today, people are either on one side or the other with the stubbornness ingrained to turn a blind eye towards their fellow man. Fortunately, what is refreshing is what the class of 2023 has taught us, that they do see you. They see barriers that need to be taken down. They see people for who they are. They see those who need a hand or a hug. They see joy and happiness. They see a bright future. Class of 2023, as you move on with your lives, you will encounter people who do not see with their hearts, who want to put up barriers for you and others. With your family's support and the wisdom gained from your teachers, staff, and that a trusted adult in your life, not only will you remove those barriers, but through your actions, help people truly see what is important. I will remove the language barrier of this speech in English by having it posted and translated in the numerous lang languages on our website. Class of 2023, continue to make a positive difference in the life of every person, every day, without exception. Class de 2023, felicidades. Yo te veo. Class of 2023, congratulations. I see you. Now it is my privilege to represent, C oh, I'm sorry. It is my privilege right now to introduce, I almost started reading her speech. That would not have been good. <laughs> I would like to, Idette, I would like to introduce Ms. Idette Groff, school board president. waiting for someone to break out in a chorus of Don't Rain in My Parade. <laughs> Lucky for you, that won't be me. Thank you, Dr. Sikowski. Good evening and welcome. It is my great privilege to represent CV's Board of School Directors this evening to congratulate our graduating seniors rather than sitting in the boardroom trying to serve them at arm's length. As is my habit on graduation, I think more of the audience than the honorees. Speakers all across America can do much better at this than I ever could. I do encourage them to delay fidgeting with their mortarboard tassels long enough to consider adding their personal addendum to mine before the evening ends. I focus on those 
who fill this auditorium and other gymnasium, gymnasiums and arenas. Those parents, guardians, family and friends who've been there with them for better, for worse, through challenges and victories and disappointments, but always there. Cheering, correcting, worrying, fingers crossed, and perhaps muttering a small prayer. There are two very special days in a child's education, the first morning of kindergarten and the last evening of graduation. I believe it's the former that stays in our memories Letting go of their little hands as they walk toward their future is a bittersweet moment for any parent. The memories pile up over 13 years, and tonight, each of you come here to celebrate and congratulate them. I come to congratulate you and to thank you for the privilege of partnering and sharing them with us. As a board, we are almost as proud of them as you are. Almost. Our congratulations to you all for a job well done. As if we all didn't know, it's not finished. A job not yet finished, but we thank you anyway. The class of 2023 has left their mark on CB and has experienced numerous unique challenges and opportunities. High achievement in the classroom, civic responsibility, positive change, passion for activities, athletics and clubs, and never accepting the status quo characterizes this year's class. Our graduates have a diverse future ahead of them. The class of 2023 will be attending 68 different colleges, universities, and technical schools. We will also have numerous students that will enter the workforce and the military. I can't wait to see the amazing things that these graduates will accomplish. Over the past few weeks, many of our graduates were present at this year's senior ceremonies, marking our graduates' accomplishments and achievements. Among them were the Senior Athletic Awards, night and our seniors awards night. All told, seniors received hundreds of awards, recognitions and scholarships this year. Would all seniors who received an award at one or both of these awards nights please rise? You may be seated. I would like to turn the next portion of our ceremony over to our assistant principal, Mr. Travis Jones. There are several other recognitions and honors we would like to present this evening. First, we are very proud of our graduates who have decided to serve our country in the U.S. Armed Forces. Join the list of CV, CV alumni who have served or are currently serving our country. Several members of this senior class have committed to serving the United States military. We'd like to recognize the following seniors entering the armed services. Would the following students please stand to be recognized? Adrian Mendoza Salder, US, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Sophia Hess, Army National Guard. <laughs> Jay Gordon, Army National Guard. And finally, Ishai Kingsborough, United States Air Force. Uh, 
Undoubtedly, your service and sacrifice will help us all to enjoy the life we live. Thank you for your service. The second recognition is our real Medal of Honor. Here to present the community and student real Medal of Honor is Superintendent Dr. Z. The real Medal of Honor is named in honor of Bob Rill, former CV superintendent, who initiated the award. It was designed to recognize students and members of the community who have made a positive impact on not only the schools, but on the community in which we live. It is given annually to one community member and two students who epitomize the concept of being a positive difference maker. The community member who is receiving this year's award is truly the eyes, ears, and voice of the community at our twice monthly board meetings. Diane Tyson earned her teaching degree from Millersville, her principal certification from Penn State, and while earning her master's degree in education with a, a certification in social restoration from Lehigh University, she was hired to teach juvenile and adult inmates at Camp Hill Correctional Facility. And that's just the beginning of her career. All three of Diane's children were CV graduates. In fact, all three were in the high school at the same time. She had a freshman, a sophomore, and a senior, all in the same building. Once they graduated, Diane saw an ad in the paper. That's right, there's no LinkedIn or Indeed or anything like that back then. For an opening as a tutor in a new alternative learning environment for high school students at Park City Mall. After the first year, the director left and Diane was asked to be the new director. She said she tried out and 24 years later, retired as a Lancaster County Academy Director. She saw the need to help our most at-risk population, those students who did not find success in a traditional setting. She saw the potential in each one of those students, and she had the belief that she and other educators at the Academy could make a positive difference, and that they did. To this day, Lancaster County Academy has grown out of the mall and expanded to two locations, by providing opportunities for our students to earn diplomas from their respective high schools in a non-traditional environment. Since that time, Diane has stayed busy keeping local agencies honest, whether it be a township, a state legislator, legislature, or in our case, the school district. She faithfully attends CV school board meetings and offers insightful comments or questions when appropriate. Even the presence of one individual increases the accountability factor for those sitting around the table, knowing that Diane can and does accurately take information out to the public. She is thoughtful in her dialogue, respectful in her delivery, challenging in her questions, and quick to give credit where credit is due. Given her experience and near to her heart, she is keenly aware of the district's efforts to better serve our at-risk population. When asked why she doesn't run for school board, she often answers, there needs to be someone on the other side of the table to hold the board accountable. Diane is a well-respected member of the community who truly exemplifies the mantra of every child every day without exception, and someone who makes sure the district stays true to that vision. There is no other individual whose continued dedication to CV is to make sure the district upholds its end of the deal to make a positive difference in the life of every child every day without exception. It is with great pride that I award Diane Tyson the real Medal of Honor for 2023. The Real Medal of Honor is also awarded to two students who exemplify a caring for others and a commitment to our community and who have also the character to continue to make a positive difference in this world. The award is to be in the form of a Medal of Honor and a monetary award of $1,000 to each student. Their names will be placed in a plaque suitably displaced in the high school. I don't think this first student knows how not to smile. She has earned the respect of her teachers and peers alike through her positive attitude 
and impactful service to both the school and the community. According to her teachers, she is one of the most outstanding students ever encountered due to her genuine pursuit of knowledge and her unbridled enthusiasm for learning. She has been a Link Crew member. Link Crew is our program to help underclassmen, the Valley Voice Editor-in-Chief and a secretary of CV's Literary Magazine. This outstanding student will be attending the University of Pittsburgh to major in English and writing. Please help me congratulate Micaiah Johnson as a 2023 Real Medal of Honor. The second student made his mark on the high school, both in the athletic fields and courts, but also in the classroom. He epitomizes the term student athlete as varsity captain and academic all-star on CV's basketball and volleyball teams. A member of both the National Honor Society and Science National Honor Society, this student is also a member of Link Crew and Students Against Destructive Decisions organization. This student is also planning on attending the University of Pittsburgh, this time to study nursing. Please help me congratulate Garrett Funk as a 2023 Real Medal of Honor winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your real Medal of Honor winners. When I first got to CV as a Buffalo Bills fan, I didn't think I'd find another one So until I'd like to introduce Mr. Bob Capalupo, one of the biggest Buffalo Bills fans there is. That's not true. <laughs> But it's an honor to be here tonight. My name is Bob Capalupo. I'm a counselor at the high school. And tonight I'm here representing the Conestoga Valley Education Association Scholarship Committee. Every year, our faculty and staff donate to the CVEA Scholarship Fund. Their generous contributions allow us to award $4,000 scholarships to two very deserving graduates. Recipients must show strong academics, involvement in extracurricular activities, and financial need. All of our students who applied for this scholarship were incredible. It was so hard to just pick two. We wish we could give you all a scholarship. We have amazing students at Conestoga Valley. The following two graduates will each receive a $4,000 CVEA scholarship. Please come up to the podium as I announce your name. Our first recipient is Mr. Jonathan Chen, who will be attending Penn State University to major in computer science. Come on up, John. And our second recipient is Miss Mary Eckert, who will be going to Westchester University to become a nurse. Let's hear it for her.
please celebrate these two remarkable students as well as the entire class of 2023. Thank you. All right, Mr. Capilupo, you forgot the introduction, wherever you went. Uh, he was supposed to introduce the uh, Mr. Travis Jones. He's going to introduce to you the top 10% of the class of 2023. So Mr. Jones, would you please come forward? Thanks, Cap. <laughs> it is my honor to introduce the academic top 10% of the class of 2023. These students have the highest GPA when incorporated into our class rank formula. Typically, these, these students take a large number of honors level, AP, dual enrollment, and college in the high school courses. You will notice that they are heavily involved in the Conestoga Valley school activities, including sports, clubs, and service to the, our community. Each student in the top 10% received a gold tassel, certificate, pin and a letter from the White House. The letter reads as follows. Congratulations on re receiving the 2023 President Education Award. Jill and I are honored to join your family, friends, and teachers in recognizing, recognizing the wonderful achievement. Over the past year, you worked hard, learned so much, and faced challenges head on. You stayed curious and fearless, and you preserved. I am proud of you, and I hope you are too. I truly believe that you are part of a remarkable generation, one that is more gifted, talented, and tolerant than anyone before. That's why I know the future of our nation is bright. Young people like you will be leading it. Keep studying, believe in yourself, and know that there is no limit to what you can do. You can make a difference, lift our country up, and change the world. I look forward to all that you will accomplish. President Joe Biden. Would the following students please stand and remain standing to be recognized. Please hold your applause until all names have been called. Top 10% class of 2023. Nolan Armstrong, Leah Book, Jonathan Chen, David Duchanu, Mary Eckert, Garrett Funk, Haley Givler, Larissa Harnish, Marissa Heisey, Holland Helsel, Elliot Hershey, Carson Hoover, Taylor Horst, Riley Halk, Anastasia Ivanchikov, Micaiah Johnson, Anna Kaufman, Caroline Culp, Sophia Livingston, Camden Mailer, Asha Morwaha, Magdalene Magali, Henry McQuay Cronkey, Kylie Metzler, Connor Nafziger, Yasmeen Norris, Abigail Phillips, William Rowland, Hunter Silvaggio, Tyler Slingliff, Rachel Sai, and Sophia Weiss. Congratulations to our academic 10% of Class of 2023. <laughs> Career and Technical Education, or CTE, is education that directly prepares students for high wage, high skill, and high demand careers. CTE covers many different fields, including advanced manufacturing, 
agri-science, construction, consumer services, culinary arts, information technology, medical and dental, protective services, transportation, and visual communication. CTE encompasses many different types of education, from classroom learning to certification programs to work-based learning opportunities outside of the classroom. CTE has proven history of preparing students for high demand careers. Our seniors who attended one of our Lancaster County Career and Technology Centers are recognized at each of the three CTCs, Brownstown, Mount Joy, William, Willow Street, on Tuesday, May 30th. We would like to recognize, recognize their achievements this, e this evening. Would all the seniors who attended one of our Career and Technology Centers please rise to be recognized. Thank you. At this time, I will turn it back to Dr. Hovannik. We are extremely proud of all of our 2023 graduates. Like many high schools across the country, we currently recognize our top two students, the valedictorian and the salutatorian, based on their overall weighted GPA. Our salutatorian of Conestoga Valley High School's class of 2023 is Aja Marwaha. Aja, will you please join me on stage? Aja is the daughter of AJ and Brenda Marwaha. Aja has been involved in numerous activities and sports throughout her high school career including student council, the principal's leadership committee, girls swimming, girls soccer, and girls track. She has served as the class of 2023 secretary. She spent her junior year studying in Jordan through the Kennedy Luger Youth Exchange and Study Program. Aja plans to attend Lehigh University where she will major in population health. Please help me congratulate Conestoga Valley High School 2023 salutatorian, Miss Aja Marwaha. Next, our valedictorian for Conestoga Valley class of 2023 is Hunter Silvaggio. Hunter is the son of Christian and Beth Silvaggio. He has been involved in numerous activities, including Student Council, National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society, Link Crew, and both the Chess and Pickleball Clubs. Hunter has participated in rec basketball, boys lacrosse, and football. Hunter has spent four years volunteering at the Science Factory, Hunter is attending Washington College to continue both his academic and athletic career. He will major in environmental science while playing for the men's lacrosse team. Please help me congratulate Conestoga Valley High School's 2023 20, valedictorian, Mr. Hunter Salvaggio. Graduates from our high school choral ensembles will perform Goodbye by Jay Gordon. We appreciate their gift of music for commencement. I would like to welcome the following senior musicians to the stage steps. Emma Diebel, Nayla Duclona, Jay Gordon, Holland Helsel, Lizzie Harold, Leanya Holmes, Mary Ireland, Destiny Lohr, Cassie Mockler, Aiden Nash, Joelis Pagan Gracia, William Rowland, Lee Schiffer, Anna Vukalo, Yuji Wenger, 
and Gwen Wild. Dr. Zolkowski and members of the Conestoga Valley School Board of Directors, as interim principal, I attest that the candidates assembled here today, making up the Conestoga Valley High School class of 2023, have met all the requirements for graduation from high school 
as set forth by the State of Pennsylvania and the Conestoga Valley School District and are now eligible to receive their high school diploma. I am proud to present the class of 2023. <clears throat> And Dr. Havanek, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I proudly accept the class of 2023. At this time, we will begin presenting the class of 2023 with their diplomas. Diplomas will be presented by Dr. Dave Zolkowski, Superintendent, who will be joined by Mrs. Idette Groff, Board President, and me. Ms. Dawn Eby and Mrs. Melissa Swore, two of our assistant principals, will be reading the names of our 2023 graduates as diplomas are presented. Ms. Eby and Mrs. Swore. Caitlin Marie Abel. Micah Yahoon Aldrich. Xavier Logan Alleman. Johncel Rafael Alvarez. Matthew Amaya Arzu. Nazir Carly Anderson. <laughs> Nolan Douglas Armstrong. <laughs> Anastasia K. Atkins. <laughs> Rachel Grace Bachman. Sean D. Bell. Eosius Alemi Berhanu. Caden Cole Bivens. Kai Niger Blaylock. Isak Balai Bogali. <laughs> Natalie Ayla Booth. <laughs> Brendan Alexander Bossert. <laughs> Dakota Marie Boyd. Rodney Jerome Bradford, Jr. <laughs> Janelise Bristol. <laughs> Sydney Ray Brubaker. <laughs> Leah Alexandra Book. Seth Charles Burkett. Jason Ryan Burkholder. Daniel Cole Burnett. Timothy Butler. Ishmael Josue Camacho. Jacob R. Carr. Victor Casado. Jonathan Chen. Ashley A. Cirillo. Landon Matthew Clouser. 
Angel Luis Colon Jr. Colin Christopher Courtney. Elena Lurene Colbert. Joey Cusack. Joshua Kutipa. Soraya Damberville. Emma Diebel. Olivia Diebel. Eli Christian Durr. Alexander Dixon. Maria Eugenia Dominguez. Alyssa Rochelle Dosher. Neela DeClona. Akira Monet Dudley. Benjamin T. Eberly. Donovan Paul Eby. Mary Isabel Eckert. Jaylyn Marie Ekman. Caitlin Jane Edwards. Elijah Cole Egerder. Elise Lauren Emery. Cameron Ray Engel. Lillian Amber Ennis. Isaac Fadlamola Jr. Christopher Michael Ferrone Jr. <laughs> Leah Rose Figueroa. <laughs> Dominic Anthony Finnerty. <laughs> Jeffrey Wade Fisher. <laughs> Caden Fisher. Preston Scott Fisher. Maria Fonseca. Kiana Trudy Frankford. Brian Wesley Fry. Connor Dean Fulkerson. Garrett Christian Funk. Alondra Lee Garcia Torres. Angel Luis Gaston III.
Janessa Monet Gauna. Tyler Lee Geiger. Sophia Emmeline Geist. Sarah Solomon Galetta. Summer Lynn Getz. Jaden Sincere Gillespie Adams. Haley Elizabeth Givler. Hayden Andrew Glick. Lucas Alexander Gomez. Eric Omar Gonzalez. Natalie Gonzalez. Shania Gonzalez Medina. J. Ren Elijah Dwight Gordon. Kimari Faith Gordon. Haley Shea Granruth. Destiny Nicole Greggs. Hayden McKinley Gustafson. Marin Ephraim Hailu. Jamie Aaron Handwerger. Larissa Helene Harnish. Paige Ashcroft Harris. Sydney Ashcroft Harris. Rebecca Tamer Hartraft. Marissa Dawn Heisey. Holland Rebecca Helsel. Rhiannon Henry. Elizabeth Joy Harold. <laughs> Elliot Hershey. <laughs> Sophia Hess. <laughs> Ren Hess. Jordan Bella Hieronymus. Kevin Hongvan. Andrew Michael Hoffner. Colin Michael Hoffner. Liania Holmes.
Carson Randall Hoover. Taylor Olivia Horst. Riley Joanne Hauk. Rachel Lauren Housley. Janina Hrushka. Andrew Adam Holtstrand. Caitlin Paige Humphreyville. Paige Marie Hurdle. Mason William Hutchinson. Mary Eleanor Ireland. David M. Irwin. Anastasia Ivanchikov. Daniel Ivanchikov. Haley Noel Jack. Michael John Jenkura. Micaiah Hetty Johnson. Tiaja Janae Johnson. Dorcas Zena Kasanga. Susanna A. Karayeva. Anna Faye Kaufman. Ishai Andrew Kingsborough. Thomas Lee Kingsley. Brady Mark Kistler. Carly Marie Kamaychek. Lily Rain Nicely. McCoy Duane Nisley. <laughs> Emily Ann Kornacki. <laughs> Sierra Lynn Land. <laughs> Evan Jeffrey Lapp. Noah Elijah Lash. Garrett Mark Lotzbaugh. Lily Twee Lay. Josiah Mark Lehman. Eli David Lefevre. Jake Avery Leggett. Sophia Brooke Livingston. Richard Lowe. Maya N. Longi. Eric David Lopez. Karen Gisela Lopez Lopez. Lopez. 
Destiny Mong Lor. Connor Stephen Ludwig. Maylene Lugo. Christina Marie Maguello. Camden Mailer. Caleb Malari. Brayden Jean Martin. Colin Joel Martin. Liza Marie Martinez. Doncy Mateo Jimenez. Le Leah Marie McCord. Kyara Renee McFadden. Magdalene Magali. Henry McQuaid Cronkey. Jenna Amelia Medina. Adrian B. Mendoza Souter. Kylie Metzler. Paul Bryant Milburn, Jr. Brian Michael Miller. Caden Scott Miller. Ethan Jeremiah Miller. Isabel Grace Miller. Nolan James Miller. Trey Isaiah Miller. Cassandra Grace Mockler. Colin Mark Moore. Isaac Tusai Mua. Maishua Mua. Jack Brian Moosh. Haley Marie Nace. Connor Michael Nafsiger. Aiden Paul Nash. Michael August Neidert. Gabriella Shea Nyman. Yasmin Renee Norris. Take your. Declan Obang. Trixie Obang. Isaac Yadiel Ortiz Morales. Woo! 
Joelis Marie Pagan Gracia. Daniel Joseph Painter. Ev Patton. Aracelis Perez. Ariana Denise Perez. Tanner Leroy Petersheim. David Adrian Peto. Eric Joseph Petrozelli. Zechariah Teve Ba. Abigail Marie Phillips. Zachary Charles Fye. Josiah Plaza. Sabina Mary Portner. Yaritza Masieli Ray. Paula Denise Quinones Larcos. Yaritza Masieli Ray. Olivia Raff. Ray David Ramirez Ortiz. Darybeth Ramos Lee. Alana Monet Reason. Dylan Scott Reeser. Victoria Ryan Rhodes. Chandler Zane Riggins. Owen Mark Riggle. Karina Lynn Rainier. Michaela Elizabeth Rainier. Griffin Jacob Rischel. William Robert Rowland. Shinette Rosado de Jesus. Kemuel Rosario Jr. Judah Ben David Ross. Benjamin Josiah Rubio. Christopher Joseph Saluski. Veronica Faith Santa Maria. Antonia Rosalia Satiro. Raina Maulene Shaw. Lee Schiffer. (laughs) 
Sophia Grace Ship. Gavin Preston Sides. Hunter Christian Silvaggio. Annabelle Elizabeth Slough. Tyler Martin Slingluff. Olivia Ann Sowell. Jaylene Christina Spaulding. Taylor Elizabeth Spone. Edison Stauffer. Tyler Stauffer. Daryl Lee Connor Stowe. Melvin Byler Stolzfus. Corey Leela Street. Colin Dane Strohecker. Angelina Loretta Stewart. Ivory Suarez. Landon Ray Sunday. Lakin Emma Swigert. Robert Patrick Swift Jr. Ashawn Gregory Taylor. Brady Lindell Thompson. Nicholas Hunter Tran. Adriel Michael Tripari. Rachel Faith Sai. Brianna Marie Turner. Ava Lee Ulysney. Devin Lee Ulrich. And Yalise Urena Santos. Bernardo Valentin. Daniel Valentin. Nathan Joseph Valentin. Joey Anthony Verano, Jr. Anastasia Yovana Vukalo. Sandy Salem Waba. Scott Jeffrey Walters. Linton Karogia Womboy. Braden Cole Weaver. Grant Marshall Weaver. Jacob Weeder. Logan C. Weiss. (laughs) 
Sophia Elizabeth Weiss. Yuji Kunayuki Wanger. Cole Dalton White. Gwendolyn Ann Wild. Joyce William. Isaiah Williams. Caitlin Victoria Williams. Madison Aubrey Williams. Carly Joe Wingler. Wyatt Nicholas Wagamuth. Willow Renee Wright. Dason Lee Wynn. Victoria Star Zamoris Her. Katherine Ann Zimmerman. Devin Michael Sook. Emily Joy Buckwalder. Asha Mary Marwaha. Caroline Emma Culp. Raylin Nihilis Dominich. So we have the Declaration of Graduation, and here to do that is Dr. Zolkowski. On behalf of the School Board of Directors, by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and with the students present here today and having completed all requirements set forth by the Commonwealth and the Conestoga Valley School District, listen to your president is with pride I present to you the class of 2023 as graduates of the Conestoga Valley School District, graduates, to signify your accomplishment, at this time move your tassel to the left of your caps. I see you, class of 2023, and may I be the first to congratulate and welcome you as alumni of the Conestoga Valley School District and wish you nothing but the best in your future. We request that all family members and guests remain standing until the graduates, faculty, and school board have recessed. Would everyone please rise? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely proud to present to you the 2023 class of Conestoga Valley High School.
Thank you.